Dave's War Gaming here. I'm going to be working on a hill today. It's already being carved up and primed and kind of got the color outlines of where I want the stone to show. So we're going to be going in with a dark gray for stone. Uh, stone, concrete, all pretty much the same when you're painting them. Start out with a dark gray and move up to your highlight tones, which would be off whites, so like bleach bone, other colors like that. When I work on terrain, I don't use my nice for five dollar a pot paints. This is, I think it's forty cents, thirty seven cents for a tube of a tube of paint from Walmart. I hate Walmart. That is the only product that I buy from them. It's paint, and it sucks because it's the farthest back into the store you can possibly have to go to get a product. So I'm just running over, getting into all our cracks. The top of this is going to stay brown and then I'm going to flock green flock over it. So, just like your dirt outside, you don't want to paint green under grass because there's no green under grass. The grass is green, the dirt underneath is brown. So for the best look, the best effect, stay with brown. Now, this is dense blue Styrofoam, insulating foam, pick it up at your local home improvement store, Home Depot, Lowe's, I think I got this from Lowe's. Um, carve it up, standard carving knife. This was, and then I covered in a watered down PVA mixture, and then this is just sand. This is play sand. And then let it sit. Actually, I think in this, as I was sanding, I mixed in brown paint as well. So, cut a bunch of birds down with one stone. Just run it all over with one big brush. And you can either mix in your sand into your paint, or you can... sand it afterwards, or you can do both, and everything will give you a different effect. So we're just coloring the areas, you know, grass, grass will grow on top. On the side, and under, is where your rock's going to be, where no dirt can stick to. Once we finish this up, we're just going to let it sit. Maybe throw it in front of the heater, speed it up a little bit. Yeah. We're going to come back and do some dry brushing over it. Pick up some peaks. Make sure you turn your models all the way over. Didn't miss any areas. Nothing showing through. Okay. Looks good.